You want to use Google Meet while well on the go? Let's say you want to use Google Meet on your iPhone. I'm Chanel Greco from Saparis, and in this video, I'll demonstrate how to use Google Meet on your iPhone. Okay, so I'm already logged in with my Google account, so my G Suite account onto um, or on my iPhone. So when I hit the Meet icon, I'm automatically logged in. I um, could start a meeting right now. If I click on the hamburger menu and on this arrow here, you see I have different Google accounts and I'm logged within uh, with these different Google accounts in on my on my computer on my iPhone. And I could theoretically, if I wanted to switch to another account. Now, in your case, if you might not already use Gmail or Google Calendar on your computer and you're just starting out with a Google account to use Google Meet now, then you'll be prompted for your Google credentials. So let me just go ahead and close that out. So the first thing I want to show you is um, I can swipe up here and then I see my meetings that are planned for today. So I see I have a meeting here at two o'clock um, and to join. So to join a planned video call, all you have to do is click on join. It's that easy. So I don't have to type in any other information since um, this meeting has been scheduled with uh, a Google Meet as a Google Meet video call. So now I'm in this call. Um, the person who, in, who initiated the appointment, I'm sure will join soon. Now, if I click on my screen here, I can go, um, or I have several things that I see. First of all, I'm not having audio on. So like so, I turn my microphone on or off. The second thing is I'm not having my camera on. So there you go. That's me. Um, I can also go ahead and switch the camera. Let me go ahead and do that for you. Click on the three dots, switch the camera. There's my home office. There you go. Or my studio. Switch camera. So it's back to the front camera. Um, Let's go and click on here again. So we could also turn on captions and what happens now obviously you need your microphone on. What happens now is that whatever I say or whatever is being said in this call is showed as closed captions. That works pretty well um, or pretty good actually. Let's turn it off if you speak English. So if you like speak German or Spanish or Arabic, it won't be working yet. So that's a feature that only exists um, in the English version. Here we also have the option to present our screen. So you can present from your screen. Now this will not work in my situation because I'm screen recording, so it won't work. But um, if you're in a normal Google Meet video conferencing call, then you can share your screen and theoretically, you know, have a presentation or show some numbers, share some numbers, um, whatever you have to do. But keep in mind, and the first time that you actually try this out, you'll also be informed. There'll be an information screen. As soon as you start sharing your screen with the other participants of the call, your audio and your camera will be disabled. So please keep that in mind when you're screen sharing. It does kind of like, you know, um, the question to me comes to mind is, so why would you want to use your screen sharing if you can't actually talk and, and, and be seen? I mean, that with not being seen, that's one thing, but not being able to be heard by the other participants, I'm not quite sure if that makes sense. If you have a use case where you say, hey, this absolutely makes sense because to attempt to them, then go ahead and leave a comment below uh, and, you know, help us out here, help us figure out when could we use this functionality. Good. So um, let's click on the three dots. We have the option to don't adjust for very low light. This is something that's newer. So um, it will um, adjust the brightness depending on the background um, um, where I am while, while I'm filming or while I'm uh, on this video call. Uh, and the rest is pretty much that. If you um, called up these more settings and you don't need them, you just click on cancel. It's as easy as that. If I'm done with the call, there you go. Hang up like so. 
that's that. So that's when you're joining a call that has already been planned and you in your Google Calendar uh, have an invitation to this call. Now, but it also could be the case that, for instance, you've um, received just simply a code, a meeting code, and that you would want to enter here meeting code you type in the meeting code and then you get the exact to the exact same place you can join the meeting and the other option is that you click on that you click on new meeting there you go you have this information that you receive here and then you could invite other people to join your call that you just initiated here we have our chat where you can write infos for example and there you go and then the other person would see that so that's pretty much that um, if we want to go back obviously we click like so um, let's go ahead and close this call what I do want to point out to is that I have videos um, I have one specific video actually where I show Google Meet on desktop, so how you can use that. So make sure to check that out. And would you mind doing me a favor and subscribing to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below? Because I uh, publish content about Google Meet and G Suite and all the other apps in the Google universe, and I would not want you to miss out on those.